Good evening. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. First tonight at 10 in the 1990s. It was a story which made national headlines forgotten by most by the site of an old manufacturing gas plant in Taylorville came back into view last fall. WND's Doug Wolf in part two of his WAND investigates report brings us an update as to where the controversy stands tonight. It was 1986 when Debbie Sparling lost her four year old son Charles to neuroblastoma. Connected to an old Central Illinois public service manufactured gas plant in Taylorville. With other children that had been out here playing, getting neuroblastoma, you didn't have to put two and two together. Three children died and four others became ill from the rare cancer, which was connected to the plant, which made gas to heat homes and businesses in the 1800s and early 1900s. Digging at the site, which was proven in court, caused the death and illness. CIPS provided some of the families with $3.2 million in financial settlements, and CIPS agreed to pump and treat groundwater for 100 years. Ameren, which took over CIPS in 1997, is now responsible for the site. I am very adamant about finding solutions so that no other children have to go through what my child went through. In late summer 2023, Ameren began a pilot project to determine whether remediation could be done in a few years versus the 100 years agreed to by CIPS. Residents started complaining about odors coming from drilling and digging, which created a giant hole. The Illinois EPA ordered Ameren to stop work, and residents quickly became concerned about the safety of those using the park. I personally will not be going to the park. I will not be going anywhere near that site. A group of citizens led by Brenda Kimball, whose daughter suffered from neuroblastoma, began testing air and water in the area outside of the fenced off site. The biggest risk here is our children because children do not have a mature immune system like an adult and they metabolize things so much faster. Brenda is continuing independent testing. She tells me some results show there are indications of heavy metals like iron and aluminum appearing in their tests. Manners Park was briefly closed near the site but is reopened. The district tells me testing they had performed fell within Illinois EPA guidelines. However, youth baseball has been moved out of Manners Park and recently indicated they will not return in 2025. I grew up here. I played baseball here with all of my friends. My wife's little brother played baseball here last year and, they, and that's when they started digging. Ameren is still under the stop work order, but there was some activity early in the year. Residents were concerned when they saw trucks leaving with debris and dirt. What exactly was being removed then? It was all just sloppy mud material from the, the uh, excavated working platform, clean backfill from the 1980s, hauled on trucks, not contaminated. Dave Palmer, manager of remediation projects for Ameren, tells me reports they have filed can be found in Taylorville or online. At this point, there's no indication when or if drilling will resume. Taylorville Library includes every submittal we've ever had for this site. We've replicated that digitally on our website. As it stands now, Ameren is not working at the site. The Illinois EPA issued the company a letter last December stating what they must do if they want to resume work. All equipment used for drilling work has been taken away. For WAND Investigates in Taylorville, Doug Wolf, WAND News. Brenda Kimball tells WAND News she is waiting on additional independent test results, which she expects to have in the near future.